Hello everyone, welcome to the course of Computer Network Part 2 and today we are going to uh, start our Unit 2 and uh, this unit covers the complete uh, data link layer which uh, is used for basically uh, transferring a frame from current node to the next node with the help of MAC addresses which is of uh, 48 bits long address and it's also called a physical address uh, which is hard coded on, on your network interface card so let's see what uh, all we have in our uh, unit 2 which is completely based on data link layer as you see the first top topic is uh, it's, it's an introduction part of this particular unit second is error detection and correction uh, techniques the third one is multiple access protocols uh, 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 multiple access means uh, if you have a link uh, connected uh, connecting two nodes then it's it's a simple link fully duplex links link uh, and there are no possibility of collision but but when you have a situation where a link is shared by n number of nodes then then uh, you may find collision in that that particular link so in that case you have to have a multiple access protocols which protocols are going to manage that particular link without collision okay the next topic is uh, LAN everybody uh, knows about this local it's, it's a local area network and uh, under this particular topic we had uh, many subtopics like uh, uh, addressing as I told you uh, data link layer uses MAC address for uh, transferring the frame from current node to the next node it's not about source and destination it's it's a data link layer is all about from the current node to the next node uh, ARP stands for address resolution protocol uh, the third thing is Ethernet Ethernet is one of the protocol used for creating LANs switches are the devices uh, which work for data link layer and these are used for creating local area network as well virtual LANs are uh, virtual LANs basically uh, because uh, by default uh, you have a uh, broadcast LAN in, in uh, a switch but uh, you can create virtual LANs so we will discuss that topic as well and then you have link virtualization data center networking and finally we will have a day in, in the life of a web request so uh, this is all about our data link layer it's, it's uh, uh, that is what we have in this particular unit. So let's let's uh, come to the introduction part of our data link layer and uh, you see uh, the uh, terminologies which we are going to use in this particular uh, unit that hosts and routers are called uh, nodes communication channels uh, that connect adjacent nodes uh, along communication path is called link uh, we all know about that that link may be wired that link may be wireless or we may have lands then we have layer two packets and as i told you that data link layer is responsible for delivering frame from current node to the next node and at, at this particular layer your your datagram uh, is frame uh, when when your packet comes from the network layer down to the data link layer data link layer uh, has to provide header as well as trailer D data link layer is the only layer which provides trailer uh, to the packet so uh, when your pa packet uh, gets encapsulated with header and trailer it becomes a frame so that is why it says frame and it says the responsibility of data link layer that it has a responsibility of transferring the datagram or a frame from one node to physically adjacent node over link so uh, basically uh, your data link layer is responsible for delivering a frame from current node to the next node with the help of MAC address or a physical address which is of 48 bits long and it, that particular address is hard coded on your network interface card you you may find this address uh, on your uh, um, end systems and as far as uh, routers are concerned if if router has uh, four serial ports then 
you will find four network interface cards in that and you will find four MAC addresses as well L like uh, IP address each and every serial port has got an IP address has got a MAC address so that is how it works okay in this particular slide uh, you will uh, find uh, how how data link layer actually uh, has uh, uh, infrastructure uh, like uh, in between source and destination you may find a number of uh, nodes and uh, uh, when your data starts from source and uh, reaches to destination your your uh, data may find different uh, types of uh, data link layer protocols in the way as uh, it, it says that ethernet on the first link frame relay on the intermediate links and uh, 802.11 on the last link uh, it it, it uh, it's like if, if your source and destination is connected with two routers so obviously you have three links in between so it says that uh, from source to the first router uh, there's a link which is based on ethernet then from the first router to the second router there's a link which is based on uh, frame relay and from the third router the, sorry from the second router to the destination there's a wireless link which is called 802.11 so uh, data link layer may find different different protocols during the way uh, during the journey of a packet from uh, from source to destination and it it uh, says uh, uh, terminology or analogy as well to understand this this concept that if you want to go let's let's suppose if you want to go uh, you from your home to office your head office which is uh, located in uh, Delhi and you are you are residing uh, at a place in, in Dehradun so how will you manage to get to your office first of all uh, what you'll do uh, you will pick a car uh, uh, let's, let's, let's take an example it's a limousine from your home to um, Dehradun airport uh, then then from uh, airport to uh, Delhi airport you'll take a flight or a plane then from uh, Delhi airport uh, to your office you will take a metro so it's 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 quite simple from source to destination you may find different types of uh, transportation facilities and that 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 transportation facility can be linked uh, with data link layer uh, protocols which we study uh, which we are going to study uh, during this uh, unit so I hope uh, we are clear with this this concept now now uh, link layer has some services which it provides uh, the main task of data link layer is uh, transferring frame from current node to the next node with the help of MAC address but other than this it has got some some responsibilities and uh, those responsibilities uh, are done with the help of information provided in uh, header as well as in trailer so data link layer is the only layer which provides trailer and in trailer it provides you cyclic redundancy check bits and in case of ethernet those bits are 32 in number and uh, those bits are used for detecting the errors uh, at the destination or at the uh, next node as I told you that it's responsible for transferring from current node to the next node so data link layer is responsible for checking out during during this short uh, journey uh, all the bits are fine or not so that is being done with the help of 32 bit uh, um, cyclic redundancy code then uh, other than this uh, data link layer has uh, services like framing uh, link access framing means in the same way the packet comes down to the data link layer adding up of header and trailer uh, process of encapsulating uh, packet with the with, with header and uh, trailer is called the process of framing then if, if your node is connected uh, with multi-point link then you have to manage uh, the link access uh, as well and uh, 
it says that channel access if shared media just told you mac addresses used in frame headers to identify source and destination as i told you earlier as well in the last slide so uh, different from ip mac addresses are it's quite obvious that mac addresses are different from uh, ip addresses ip address is a logical entity and it's a 30 bit 32 bit number if we talk about ip version uh, 4 and ip address is used for identifying a particular machine complete machine a physical entity and it's it's a logical address for that particular um, machine but as far as mac address is concerned it's a hard coded uh, address of 48 bits which is hard coded on the network interface card of that particular machine so it's it's uh, simple like uh, just to make you understand uh, or just to give you idea about or difference between ip and mac is uh, your your home address can change but your aadhaar number cannot change so mac address of a particular machine is hard coded on its network interface card so it's it's a kind of aadhaar number which, which cannot be changed and ip address means its home address so if if uh, that person um, changes uh, his or her, uh, his or her, her home then address will be different so it's it's quite quite uh, a simple thing that the permanent address uh, which is hard coded on your network interface card which is a 48 bits long that is your uh, mac address or uh, that is your uh, you can compare it with your aadhaar number and uh, your home address is like ip address you, you may change your ip address uh, third thing is uh, uh, sorry the next thing is uh, reliable delivery uh, between adjacent nodes uh, that we have already covered how you can deliver the reliable data in our transport layer and uh, wireless links high error rates yeah you may find that so link layer services are uh, flow control pacing between adjacent uh, sending and receiving nodes error detection it's it's quite obvious if you detect the error you will correct them or you will retransmit the data and uh, third is half du providing half duplex and fully duplex links i hope uh, these uh, things are clear with you uh, okay now in this particular slide it, it tells us about that where is the link layer implemented this this diagram is it uh, is, is a diagram of computer you can see this is a computer and you can see this is a, a CPU a memory and a, a transmission unit inside inside this particular computer and uh, uh, it, this this uh, red dotted uh, line uh, is our it, it tells us that this this thing is our network adapter as I said, told you, network interface card. So it is our network interface card where your data link layer is implemented because uh, data link layer works with the help of MAC address and it is hard coded on your network interface card. Uh, rest, rest, uh, other layers you may find that work with the central processing unit, but your network interface card is, is, is responsible for providing you the data link layer and physical layer. Uh, because because uh, at the software level uh, uh, application layer will get you some data uh, at the soft uh, at the software level and uh, that data comes down to the transport layer um, provided to the oper application software uh, like operating system that will uh, divide the data into small small chunks and get you the port number um then then that that small chunk becomes segment after getting attached with the transport layer segment containing source and destination port numbers and when that when that segment comes down to the network layer network layer will provide the ip address with the help of uh, routing tables uh, inside the memory or um, inside the um, memory part of central processing unit and uh, they will uh, it will provide you the IP addresses so your segment becomes uh, packet once network layer adds its information in the form of header uh, and that header contains source and destination IP addresses and then that that packet comes down to the data link layer and that that, that data link layer is uh, 
your network interface card and network interface card will provide the uh, header as well as trailer trailer in the header part data link level provide the source and destination mac addresses and you know very well where you find the mac address on the network interface card and in the trailer it will provide you the cyclic redundancy check bits which will detect the errors so that is how it's gonna implemented uh, in, in computer and uh, uh, this is the adapter communication um, slide this slide just says that this is the sending side and this is the receiving side and this is the datagram or, or uh, in, in context of data link layer it, it's a frame at the sending side what you do you encapsulate the data in datagram in frame you, you provide header as well as trailer adds error checking bits in the trailer and you transfer the data through reliable data transfer protocol you do flow control as well and at the receiving side you receive the data look for the error and receive the data through reliable data transfer protocol you provide flow control to your data transfer extract datagram passes to the upper layer which is network layer in this case at the receiving side so it's, it's quite simple so uh, this is uh, i think this is just an introduction for your uh, data link layer and uh, um, i hope it is clear uh, if you have any problem in this, this interaction you can communicate with me and uh, hopefully uh, hopefully in the next lecture we are going to study uh, we are going to start with our error detection technique uh, that is cyclic redundancy check thank you very much